Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to print stars in the rectangle shape. So here we can see the pattern. This pattern contains row 5 and column 7 and inside the rectangle we are not printing any star that means it is the hollow rectangle shape. And this is the another input so when row is 3 and column is 5 we can see the pattern like this. So without talking much let's begin with the program. So in the python file first we'll ask the user to enter the input. So what is the input of this program? So input is we'll ask the user to enter the number of row and we'll take the column as plus 2 of row. That is nothing but if row is 5 we'll take 7 columns in the output. If row is 7 we'll take 9 columns in the output. We'll ask the user to enter the row. Column is nothing but row plus 2. So let's take the input. To take the input, I am using input function. So here I will enter a message. Enter the number of rows. How many rows do you want in the output? Here I am using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value. But here we want number of row that is an integer value. So I need to convert this input to int. So I am using int function here. Now we will get the number of row in the integer form and that will be stored in the variable row. So you can take any variable name here ok. Next here I will take column is equal to row plus 2. As I said we will take the plus 2 column ok row is 5 we will take 7 columns in the output. Done we are done with the row and column. Next we want to print this stars in the rectangle shape. To print stars in the rectangle shape, we need to print stars in different row and column, right? These are called as row and these are called as column. So to print like this, to print stars in different row and column, we need to use nested for loop. I already explained you about how to use nested for loop in patterns, right? In the previous pattern programs. So we need nested for loop. In the nested for loop, there will be outer for loop and inner for loop. Here the outer for loop is nothing but for loop for row. Inside that we will take the for loop for column. So here I need to take a for loop for row first. So how many rows you want? You want row rows right? That number is stored in this variable row. We are asking the user to enter the number of rows and we are storing that result in the variable row. So here we are writing the for loop for row and here I need to mention how many rows I want. So I mentioned row. So it will take range from 0 to row. For example, if I enter row as 5, so it will take range from 0 to 5. So we'll get i value as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Total 5 rows beginning from 0 ending at 4. Fine. Next I need to take how many columns I want. This is the for loop for column. i and j are the variable name. Here I want call column right so here i stored how many column i want in this variable we want to row plus two column in the output so that's why here i will take call zero to call so for example if row is five column becomes seven so it will take zero to seven so we'll get j value as zero one two three four five six total seven column done we are done with the for loops now next in the pattern we can see in some places like in some row and column we want star like here here we want star here we want star like this right but in some places like this here we want to print space right so in the pattern in some places we want star and in some places we want to print space so to do this in which row and column you want star and in which row and column you want to print space to know this we need to use the if else conditional statement here we have two choice right one is to print star another one is to print space. So that's why to do this I am using if else conditional statement. In the if so here first I need to take if right. In the if I will mention the places where I want to print star. So let's see where we want star in the output. In which row and column we want to print star. So here we can see this is the row 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6. First let's concentrate on the row. In which row we want star. First here we can see in this row 
we want star right and next in this row we want star so this is the first row of the output right so this is the last row of the output so in the first and last row of the output we want star so first row is nothing but zeroth row so that is nothing but when i is zero here i is nothing but row in the program so when i is zero we want to print star and when i is four but we are writing a general program so i can't take i as four right so here what is four four is nothing but the last row when number of row is five when row is five this is four that is nothing but row minus one right last row is nothing but row minus one because row is beginning from zero last row is nothing but row minus one so when i is zero and i is row minus one we want to print star so here i'll take if i is equal to zero we are checking the condition so that's why we are using double equal or i is equal to equal to row minus one so here or is nothing but the logical or operator in the logical or operator if any one of the condition for example this condition and this condition here we have two condition right if any one of the condition is true the whole condition becomes true okay for example if this condition is true that means this whole condition is becomes true so it will print the if body all right so next or again i'll take or because we have now we have to write the condition for uh, stars in the column so let's see in which column we want to print stars in the first column and in the last column we want to print star right we already printed the star while printing the stars in the row right but don't worry about that it will just overlap that's okay so we want to print j is equal to 0 that is the first column or the last column last column is nothing but when column is 7 the last column is 6 that is nothing but when j is equal to column minus 1 so here when j is equal to 0 or j is equal to column minus 1 the last column so here the condition is when row is 0 or when last row when column is 0 or at last column if any one of this condition is true just print star so i'll print star and here i'll take end parameter in the print function that is for keeping the control in the same line in the row 0 after printing this star i want to print next star after that right i want to print this star after that i want to print this star after that in the same line to do this to keep the control in the same line so we are using end is equal to empty string here by default end value is slash n in the print function if i didn't use this it will print the star in the single line like in the vertical line so we don't want that that's why i'm using this end here so next we have if that means we need else condition also so this is the place where we want to print star right other than this places we want to print space so that's why in the else condition i'll take space here also i'll keep the control in the same line so here after printing this space next to print the next space we want to keep the control in the same line so that's why i'm using this right done next in the first for loop i am using print function here end is slash n so that's why it will go to the new line i am using this print function outside this for loop inside this for loop the first for loop that is because after each row after printing the stars in a column after completing that we want to go to the next line so that's why i am using this print function so that is so after printing these stars in a line to print next star we want to go to the next line right that's why i'm using print function all right so we are done with the program let's execute this so enter the number of row i'll enter five and here we can see the output here if you want you can give space between each uh, stars if you give a space here also you need to give a space okay so now five here we can see like this you can print the rectangle next if you want you can take the input for column also 
in that case instead of taking the column as row plus 2 you can take the input from the user for the column here i'll take that number of column so now you can print square also you can print the stars in the square shape also if you give row and column as equal then you can print the stars in the square also for example here we can see enter the number of row so i'll enter 5 enter the number of column if i enter 5 we'll get a square or you can print 10 number of row and uh, number of column as 4 like this 4 and uh, 10 okay so in this way you can print stars in the rectangle shape or square shape so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care